Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. The combat assault rifle has been added to the game, and this could be one of the best assault rifles to ever come to Fortnite. The rumors are that it's very hard to control, and as somebody who has pretty decent assault rifle aim, I'm going to test it out and see, is it better than the Golden Scar? Is it better than the Burst? And my first weapon out of my first chest is the... Comp Actually, both of them. Okay, so the drop rate is kind of kind of high comes in uh, all rarities including legendary which we will be upgrading to legendary rarity but i have a feeling i'm gonna really like this assault rifle and by the way guys if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed to this channel hit that subscribe button and use creator code cypher pk in the item shop if you want to support me let's look at this thing damage 22 fire rate 9 magazine size 35 reload time 3.2 so it's got a pretty hefty reload time at green uh kind of standard but a little bit longer honestly i think than the normal scar uh the fire rate is what really sets it apart just to compare it to an smg the smg fire rate is 11 this fire rate is 9 and then a green assault rifle is 5.5 and the fire rate is going to be consistent from a green assault a green assault rifle to a legendary it's gonna have the same fire rate across the board the only thing that's going to increase is the damage and then the uh The damage is going to increase and the reload time is going to decrease. But 35 bullets is more than the 30 bullets you typically get. It's got huge, huge recoil. Insane recoil, by the way. Insane recoil. That's the most recoil I've ever felt on an assault rifle. Actually, most recoil, recoil I've ever felt on any gun, period, in Fortnite. So when you start spraying this thing, first of all, it's got pretty decent first shot accuracy, but not the fastest at green. Maybe at higher levels or higher rarity, it'll be faster. But look at this. Whoa! So I feel like I can control this thing, though. This is probably the highest skilled gun in Fortnite because there's not a lot of recoil in this game. This thing has one, two, three. Like it's, it's th on the third bullet, you're flying up. I, I've never seen that. This might not be that great for controller players because I don't know how much harder it is to control recoil on controller. And I don't know how sticky the aim assist is going to be. I feel like a really good mouse and keyboard player is going to be able to make this work really well, though. We'll see. Is there an upgrade station here? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and go to Risky and upgrade this thing to a legendary uh, rarity. Because that that's what I want to see. I want to see the recoil on the legendary rarity. I want to see the damage output. And I want to see how the stats get changed. Keep in mind, there's also Bloom. So, like, not only does it have insane recoil, but it also has Bloom. It, Fortnite is known for its Bloom because of its lack of recoil, while other games have less or no Bloom uh, with a lot of recoil. So, this gun has Bloom and has high recoil. It, it could be a disaster. But we'll see exactly how effective this thing is. First of all, how did I teleport back here? Second of all, what is going on? I literally teleported back here. I straight up teleported. I saw this clip happen to somebody, but I straight up just teleported. <laughs> That's going to be in the video. That's hilarious. And I teleport to a guy who's hiding in a bush. I low-key did beam him though. So at gold, it's going to do 25 damage per shot. So every eight bullets is 200 damage the fire rate is nine so every eight bullets we're talking 200 plus uh dps that's insane for an assault rifle okay we're going all the way and i can't die with i'm just like i said i can't die with this thing i don't want to i don't want to die right now i gotta look at the stats dps there's no dps it's just damage 25 fire rate nine Magazine size 35. DPS is 200 plus. The DPS is 200 plus, FYI. Bro, there are people everywhere here, huh? All right, let's go, let's go. I gotta use this thing. Holy, I mean, I'm controlling the recoil pretty good. And this thing's gonna put some serious pressure on people.
Dang, nice, nice, nice little cheeky shot right there. The follow-up is gonna be nuts though. Yeah, it's honestly really good follow-up. It has really, really good follow-up. Sometimes you're going to be at a disadvantage if you swap to an AR like a Scar or a Burst and you're trying to finish them off, especially if they swap to an SMG. But this is comparable to SMG DPS. Uh, they don't have DPS like as a stat anymore in-game, but damage per second, all you have to do to get the DPS of this is multiply 25 by 9. So you're getting 225 DPS. I'm pretty sure the gold rapid fire had a DPS of like... Oh, dude. Dude. The gold rapid fire had like a 250 or 240 something DPS. So this is comparable to gold rapid fire in terms of DPS. And gold rapid fire had the highest DPS in the game. I want to I wanna get this llama. Oh my god. Okay, in the water, it's a little bit tricky because I'm hip firing right now. And you do have to reload rather quickly with this thing because of all the shooting that you do. But honestly, I'm I'm kind of digging this AR. Like it, like it's a high skill gun, requires really good aim to do well with, and it's very flexible. Like it's super super flexible. I'm going to take I want to try to take some long range shots with it, like tap fire and see like what the tap fire feels like. It has the same damage and fire rate as an LMG. That's nuts. Uh, you really cannot let it shoot for more than like a couple shots when you're like you got a tap fire oh my god he, he, he lost all his health and he's dead so he has a gold scar right let's let's look at the gold scar 36 times 5.5 can somebody do that for me real quick 198 so it has it has higher DPS than the gold scar. 35 bullets versus 30. But the recoil, bro. The, re the recoil is nuts and hard to control. But I think it's like, it's something you can get used to. I mean, I just 200 to zero that guy. I don't know. I don't know, man. This thing, finally like an interesting new assault rifle. You know? It's also got a really cool sound effect. Like the shots that this thing makes is so lit. A lot of people voted for this over the SMG. I feel like the SMG would have been underwhelming. The SMG, like we saw the stats of it. The SMG stats. The SMG kind of had similar stats to the gold rapid fire. But in my opinion, the combat SMG would have been too similar to the gold rapid fire for it to feel unique. It would have been a gold rapid fire pretty much with some slight stat adjustments. To get that first shot accuracy, right? To tap fire the first shot, you really have to be super strict with your tap fires. But you have to just tap, 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 tap. You know, you, I'm trying to show, I'm going to try to, sh I'm hiding in a bush because I want to show you like long range taps. Oh my God. So quick, quick tip. This is actually the only assault rifle that can shoot through builds. Okay. It's the only assault rifle that can shoot through builds because of its, uh, if the fire rate is over seven, it can shoot through builds. Oh my god. What is it? Dang, he's hitting. I love the pressure with this thing, though. So people people are saying you can totally see controller players abusing this, but people are also saying that it's hard to control the recoil on controller. Like I mentioned earlier, the, look at the recoil. On the third shot, it's one, two, three. And if I shoot it fast, that's insane recoil. You have to pull that down. And I don't know, like... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to work on controller. I have a feeling it's going to be more suited for mouse and keyboard, but I could be wrong.
Holy bro. Beams, man, beams. Oh, Lord have mercy. The pressure with this gun is nuts. I love the pressure I can put out. 35 bullets is like a lot to work with too. But hit firing, this is not it. Hit firing is not it. Like close range hit fire is fine. Long range hit fire like I, like I just tried doing. Nope. So fun to play with though. So fun. I mean, what? It's like... It's like Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> so good man this is probably the best assault rifle they've added in the last like three years and check out metal umbrella our clothing brand it's live right now you guys can get some amazing apparel and support me thank you very much metalumbrella.com